The Charter Review Committee held their second public forum to review Hopkinton's town charter. Our committee has representatives from the Board of Selectmen, the School Committee, and the Appropriation Committee, as well as four members of the public, one of whom served on the original Charter Commission. The review of the Charter started in January 2016. The Charter was first implemented in 2006. Three significant changes presented for consideration included changing the position of town clerk from elected to appointed by the Board of Selectmen, standardizing reporting structure for town employees. We looked at five areas relating to reporting structure, appointment, supervision, goal setting, evaluation, and discipline. And streamlining the budget schedule and warrant process. When reviewing the budget process, the committee kept in mind that the town is continuously growing and as of fiscal year ending June 30, 2017, it had an $80 million budget across all aspects of town finances. Residents had the chance to give input and thoughts towards the town charter. Most of the comments were regarding the proposed change to make the position of town clerk an appointed position rather than elected. That remembers Bob Bartlett knows that as an elected official, he was awesome. We decided we needed to appoint our highway superintendent and we went through a ton of highway superintendents and our roads have never been as good as they were when they were when we elected our highway superintendent. So I'm not so sure by changing this to elected, um, from elected to appointed, we're going to get a better caliber um, just because other towns do it. And I know you guys looked at a lot of towns and, you know, just because somebody else does it doesn't mean we have to do it. Um, Hopkinton is unique. Um, we might have the same demographics or median income as other towns, but I've lived here a long time. I've seen a lot of changes and we do things and we have done things that other towns don't do and we're very successful at it. Come introduce yourself, register to vote, get your dog license, get our current leash laws. Outside of having an enormous election that this young man did very, very well, I have not seen anything that's changed in 20 something years where I can go in and someone can go in and pick up a death certificate, someone can re you know, register to vote, I can still get my dog license. But that the fact that the mission statement on the town's website says, come introduce yourself, get your leash law, your dog license, register to vote. That really synopsis what the job is on a day-to-day -day basis without election time. The town clerk, Connor Deegan, spoke at the charter forum as well. A number of, <coughs> I think the board should be able to maintain power over their appointed uh, directors of their departments. Um, and I, I'd also like to say it's, it, to a point that was made earlier in the discussion, I've been concerned about how the committee has taken public viewpoints on any of the issues about the charter. Uh, coming to a number of the meetings, I've heard a lot of terminology to the effect of uh, the average resident has, there's no way they could uh, tell if someone's qualified to do a job. Uh, there's no way we're going to listen to how they recommend we're doing this because it's going to possibly stop everything that we've worked on. Uh, we might as well throw everything out. There's a lot that's being done that's great. I don't want to see thrown out either. But it's not throwing out the whole charter to listen to what residents of the town want to see. The Board of Selectmen accepted the report of the Lake Maspinock Aquatic Vegetation Control and Management Advisory Group. The group presented a comprehensive weed management and control plan for Lake Maspinock. This slide shows the watershed of the Lake Maspinock. Lake Maspinock watershed is 1,813 acres. The watershed is encompassed in Hopkinton, Upton, and Milford. The lake itself is 234 acres, which grew with dams, etc., from a pond of 40 to 50 acres back at its inception. Maspinock is an Indian term, or an Indian word, meaning water at the foot of the hill. The size and cost uh, were also major, major uh, issues when we looked at it. The good news is we have taken a big lake and turned it into 10 lakes. And each one of those areas would be treated differently 
at different cost factors and only be treated if that specific area showed that it needed treating.